this week on the house of valentina we are exploring all the latest trends and some of them are going to be shocking we've also got some spring organization going on in the closet and we're getting all the new items out and look at my cute little helper we are also making a recipe that i cannot wait to share with you that is super healthy completely guilt-free but is a real treat. I think you're gonna absolutely love it, but you'll have to stay through to the end to see all of it. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to our home. I am so excited as always. I've got so much to share with you. I've uh, got an amazing dessert that I'm very excited to be making with you. It's gonna be super healthy and yummy and I've got all the ingredients waiting in the kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. But before I get too far into thinking about that and my mouth starts watering too much, let's chat about some really fun trends. I bought a couple pieces that are new in and then I've mixed them up with some things that I already owned and I've been having a little bit of fun playing with some spring trends and I love this time of year. I don't know about you, but I love when the weather finally starts to warm up a little bit. Uh, we're lucky to be down in Atlanta where it definitely gets warmer faster than a lot of places. And so we are feeling those warm temps. It's been in the 60s already and I am just ready for it. I'm so excited about it this year. And I've just been seeing some of these things coming into the stores and just different uh, trends and different pieces. And I'm like, I just, Love this. I love it so much. It's so much fun to get a few new pieces, give your outfits a little refresh and give yourself just this feeling of something new. So one of the things you do not see here is florals. <laughs> wow. So we are not doing florals for spring. I know that is groundbreaking. <laughs> But instead, we've got some completely different things that we're gonna be showing you, and I think you're gonna love them. So let's jump in with the one that I would say is the pretty, this is the one that's the biggest, okay? I ordered a red suit. So I know this seems kind of crazy because just a few weeks ago, I said, I'm no longer wearing red. I don't know what's going on with me. This was always my favorite color, but I don't know. I just haven't been wearing it that much. And I had a couple pairs of shoes that I was passing forward. And then I start seeing red coming out everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, I still really love red. I don't have red nails on at the moment, but I still love red nails. I love red lips and I love wearing red. So I ordered this little blazer from Michael Kors. Their pieces are so beautiful. The quality is so high. And I'm just so amazed by how nice these feel with the lining and everything. Same for the trousers. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the little inside of this. Look at the little inside with the Michael Kors. I mean, it's so great, isn't it? So I just really love these. I thought that the suit was absolutely gorgeous. And I really think going, you could go all in on this, okay? Go all in. Go for a suit. The fun thing about this is that you could mix this a million different ways. You could oh, only wear the red trousers, pair it with white or black. Uh, you could take the blazer, pair that with the white shorts or uh, the white, <laughs> pair the white blazer, red blazer, white shorts, white blazer, red pants, right? So I ordered a couple pieces and I think they're quite fun. These are definitely more oversized. You're still gonna be seeing oversized blazers that are really trending. So for those of us who are a little bit more petite, I think you have a couple ways of going about it. You can either just pull that fabric back and kind of create a nice little line here, or with this one, you can also just close it and wear it with the shorts. I think that is a really fun way. But either way, you're gonna see a lot of red coming in. And I also love, love, love the red bag. Oh my gosh, I just adore this bag. I love the quilting in it like this. It's so beautiful. And another trend that you're gonna be seeing, I'll show you a couple pieces throughout here for the next couple minutes, is still gold. So there's been a little bit of debate. People have been talking about how we're gonna start seeing a lot more silver and grays coming back. I, I know that you're definitely seeing them on the runway, but you're still seeing a lot of people still wearing gold. A lot of people are saying, I know that's coming in, but I'm still wearing gold. And I think that the gold accents are just absolutely gorgeous. But this red bag, I mean, you can put it with an all black outfit. You could put it with an all white outfit and you could definitely do it in all red. When I saw the photo on the Michael Kors website, 
with all of it together, I was like, I have to at least try it. <laughs> I have to at least try it because, oh, that's so cute. I love it. So yeah, in love in love, absolutely in love with it. So the other thing that you could do, which I am totally and completely into, is pairing your whites with black. So that's another thing that you could also do. I think that you can take your white suit and then pair it with maybe a little bit of black and white because black and white is so on trend right now. And I'm like, see, I've been trending for a while, just waiting for everyone to catch up. <laughs> You guys know, I mean, you can see my house. If you're new to the channel, my entire house is in black and white, okay? And I occasionally add in some accent colors because I feel like it softens it, but I honestly could live in a completely black and white house and be perfectly happy. But I just love it. And these bags by Jimmy Choo are just chef's kiss. So I'll leave some links for the Amazon Live that'll be coming up because I will be sharing some of these trends on Amazon as well, if you wanna see the Amazon links, and then I'll link some down below for you so you can shop some of those. But I do think that the Jimmy Choo bag, I mean, that black and white with an all black outfit is just amazing. It, it's just so good. So I did order both of these with the intention of sending one back, and now I do not know. I do not know which one to send back. You'll have to tell me which one you think because I love this bag. This is perfect for travel. It's perfect for carrying my computer. It's, um, yeah, just amazing for running errands if I've got a lot that I'm carrying that day. I love the little stud on them. I, well, clearly I have a thing for the studs. These, this is actually from Valentino and right now you can only get them resale. Uh, that pyramid kind of like stud look is definitely in. You can see it with the Jimmy Choo belt as well. Those are just fun little details, fun little micro trends that are definitely still going and kind of just really stand the test of time. But yeah, let me know which bag you prefer because the clutch is just just so cute and it, I don't know I, I feel like I actually would almost use this bag more because this is just the kind of style of bag that I carry all the time and it's perfect for just actually can easily get sunglasses a nice size wallet I mean you've got a lot of space in here okay so I don't know yeah I, I love it <laughs> I just absolutely love it so um, the other ways that you can also do the black and white trend is of course you can also do it with the clothing itself. So um, I've been wearing these little body suits. I got these off of Amazon and I love them. This Mango Pop brand, both of these pieces are by that brand. And you guys, if you saw the last, was it last or the one before we did the, um, the, the one before we did the Skims try on, Guys, I'll tell you, I feel like these are just as soft. <laughs> they are really, really good. And I think you'll absolutely love them. And they make really good staples. Um, I'm like, oh, can you even see my eyes? This thing is struggling to find my eye because I'm wearing a ball cap today. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I think that these are such great essentials and you can pair these up so easily with a pair of jeans like I'm wearing today, throw on a black blazer. So the black and white trend can be anything in your wardrobe. It can be anything. It can be a bag. You can do it with an accent like that, but it can also just be using some great basics and creating some really casual outfits, uh, work outfits, going out outfits, just day off outfits. I love it. Another way you could do it is also to use a pair of trousers. Now, these are ones that I've had for a little while. I actually really like this brand, this Ellie Tahari brand. They really make some beautiful, beautiful pieces. So if you look at these, one is actually a little bit more creamy and the other one is a little bit more white. Either one is totally okay. You don't have to do a pure white to be on tread. You could just do a creamier white with the blacks. And I think that combination just looks really, really cool. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go run out and buy everything new. I always link the items if you're looking for something. Uh, but yeah, you might have some stuff already in your wardrobe, but if you don't, the Ellie Tahari brand is incredible. I absolutely love the pieces that I've had from them. And yeah, Michael Kors, Sanka Sept, and yeah, then 
yeah, some of these from Amazon. So I just try to show you the pieces that I really love and the ones that I'm enjoying. But I do think you can have a lot of fun with this trend and mix things up a lot. Now, this is another way of me knowing that this trend is really in, and that is the two-tone black and white shoes by Jimmy Choo. I mean, <laughs> I opened these and I was like, <laughs> I'm freaking out. I've seen other people wearing them in the blue colorway. Those are really cute. And the pink as well. Oh my gosh. But I feel like these were made just for me and for you guys because yeah, I feel like they knew what we wanted. So these have a really nice block heel and this is another really fun way of incorporating this trend into your wardrobe. Not only just for spring, it's actually gonna be all year, but yeah, I just have spring on the mind at the moment, but it's definitely gonna be trending all year long. Then another thing you could do is incorporate a ball cap. So a ball cap is definitely going to be super on trend uh, in this coming season. They're just, they're just so timeless. I mean, they're really, are they really a trend or are they just, they're just timeless to me, if you ask me. I think they just look so cool paired with a blazer. And uh, if you're having a bad hair day, it comes to your rescue. I don't know, I just love them. I think that they're just so much fun. So you could go with an all black, right? And the way we can just pop in a little bit of black and white like this. You can also do the black and white on a ball cap. It's a really fun way of adding in a little pop of black and white and getting this trend into your wardrobe pretty easily. So I love that as well. Then you could also put on a black dress. Now, if you don't, you may not wanna wear black and white every single day. So the other thing you could do is pair some black with gold, because like I said, gold is gonna be super in this season. You're also gonna be seeing a lot of these feminine details still here. It seems like a lot of people are going to that quiet luxury trend where it's really pared back and really simple, but I do think you could definitely still go, look at the sleeve, look at how beautiful that, look at how beautiful that is, and the little tie around the neck with the little fringing. This is actually a little romper and I just adore it. This is another one of the pieces I just ordered and this is a definite keeper in my mind. I love the way this fits. I love the way it feels. Uh, just so, so cute. So with this one, you can see how I'm kind of combining trends here just a little bit with, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> look at this bag. This bag actually combines a couple of the trends. So if you look closely, it's white with the black contrast it's really actually the leather. It's not the stitching. So I adore this bag. It is so beautiful. I love the pebbled, the pebbled leather. Can you guys see this? It is stunning. So it's actually combining two trends because they've also put the gold hardware on it with the V. And uh, I would say that you're gonna see a lot of these sorts of bags where they've got like a jewelry kind of feel. Those, seeing them on Gucci, saw them on the Dior runway. That is a look that you're gonna see a lot more of, I think. And so you can jump on it right now. And this is the kind of bag that you can wear for all seasons, winter whites, right? Goes great with a black and white. Goes perfectly with the red, I mean, Mm, what does a bag like this not go with? And it's so fun because you could just as easily, right, throw it over the shoulder and wear it with a pair of sneakers and out the door, or, <laughs> or you could pair it with the gold shoe. I mean, if that is not the gold shoe of dreams, I do not know what else is, but um, yeah, we've got some travel coming up and I wanted to have some really fun like dinner out kind of shoes and these 100% fit the bill. So I'll leave some links, like I said before, for some items that are similar if you are not wanting to invest right now and you're wanting to save, but the, the trends stand either way, whether you're wanting to invest a lot more in them or you're wanting to save and find fun ways of including them. But I do think that these are the trends that you're going to be seeing over the next few months. They will be spring, summer, and definitely, I think you'll still see these going into fall. But yeah, for sure, just so fun to add in a little gold shoe, maybe a fun little bag with the, the black, the white, and the gold. I mean, why not just have them all? <laughs> 
One more trend that I think you're gonna absolutely love having fun with is actually the vintage earring trend. So I've been going a little bit crazy over it. You can kind of see them back here. I bought these actually off of Amazon. Saint Laurent, Givenchy, and a lot of them have been bringing out these styles that are like kind of like the 80s, like late 80s, early 90s kind of style where they're kind of big and chunky. And uh, the ones that they had from those brands, they were kind expensive and they were huge maybe i just need to try them maybe i'd actually really like them i think we should all just kind of try these things and see what we think but i've got these other pairs and i've gotten these off of amazon so you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money to get in on this trend but you could also invest a little bit more if you wanted to go with something like these from anina bing I think that this vintage style earring trend is just so, so cool and fun. And uh, yeah, I, I've really been wearing these earrings a lot and I find myself reaching for them over and over. I think it just gives an outfit, you know, something like this, where you, especially if you're gonna do all black, adding in something that's got a little bit of a punch in there, something that gives you a little bit of interest, like jewelry can be really helpful. So yeah, definitely, I'll leave the links for those all down below for you. But yeah, these are just a few trends that I think you're gonna be loving. They're ones that I just couldn't help wanting to get onto. I also noticed that even places like H&M, especially are stocking a lot of the red and Massimo Duty is another one of my favorites. And I was looking at some of their pieces they had those mesh shoes, and I was like, I don't know about the mesh shoe trend. Now I'll say that and then I'll go buy a pair because isn't that what I do? <laughs> uh, just like with a red, I had this really cute pair of Michael Kors. They actually were these really tall, um, they were these really tall wedges, and I was like, I don't know, I just don't wear them anymore. So I'm liking the color, not sure I would have liked the wedge anyways. So I think sometimes these trends come and go, and we just bring them back in a different way, and they feel fresh and new, and it gets us excited about getting dressed, and I, for one, love that. So yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below for you. But one of the things, of course, when spring hits is we start redoing our spaces, especially our closets. So I thought I'd take you back in the closet and share you yet again, a little bit of a mess that I've made because I've been working on getting it ready for the new season. So come on, let's go check it out. All right, so we are gonna head back through here. Yep, all the, everything is kind of how it was the last couple weeks, haven't really changed anything. Oh my gosh, I did, I did get the bigger bag, which I ended up loving. And I also, ooh, I got my cord still hanging out, hanging out, gotta tuck those cords away. Anybody else struggle with that too? I also got in Hue's Rue Saint Honoré and I have ended up absolutely loving this perfume. It has a smell of like gardenias and jasmine and it is absolutely in incredible love 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 that scent and at the moment i've got to get some new flowers for my little planter but yeah then back here everything kind of looks the way it did last week when i shared this with you but in here i've got a few things i know a little bit of color isn't it kind of insane <laughs> I've left out a few things here. I just got in this Saint Laurent little eyeshadow palette and I just adore it. Let me see if I can open it single-handedly. Let's see, I sent Jack to the grocery store so we could finish our uh, dessert later. So I'm, I'm uh, you know, trying to do it all here. But I love the colors in this and that's what I've got on today. And they're such beautiful colors. And coming in this little leather, case like that it's just stunning then i have got on today the jimmy choo lip gloss these have ended up being one of my favorite favorite purchases they are just absolutely gorgeous i love not only the way that it looks in the container i mean it, it's like it's just gorgeous isn't it i love it but the lip gloss itself just feels so good on my lips and it's super moisturizing and um, I, the days when I don't wear it, I keep getting cracked lips. But yeah, even though it's not like a medicated lip balm or anything, it actually keeps your lips super moisturized. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you want to come say hi? Hi, did you want to come say hi? Hi, baby. Is everybody at school? Hmm, is everybody at school? Are you looking for everyone to hang out with? 
think I gotta hang out with mom because no one's here. No one else is here to hang out with. Mm, you're so cute. I just want to squeeze you. No, I just want to squeeze you. You're just so cute. Yes, you are. Can you say hi to everybody? Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Say hi. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Mm -hmm. Nope, I just want hugs, mom. I just want hugs. Well, okay, then the other thing that I've been wearing nonstop is this Victoria Beckham lip liner. I'll leave it linked up to this exact one because I now own several of these. I've got number one, two, and three, and the color is just so nice and neutral, and I mean, you can see I've been working my way down. I really, really love her lip liner. The eyeliners, on the other hand, they're just too wet and I can't use them. I end up with it all over my face, but those are amazing. And then for my nails, I found that the Espressi, they came out with a new color and I love this. I've got a few of these and I think that the colors that they've come out with are absolutely gorgeous. And this one is Millennium Momentum. And I just love that taupe kind of color. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I've been so pleased with that. And then I just use the base and the Espressi top coat with that. And it just really helps them dry really quick and last. And then everyone has been asking me how I get that wet look on my leg. Well, it's this Dior Solar like it's like a, an oil and it's a little bit sparkly. So if you shake it, it does leave a little bit of like a glisten on your leg, but it gives you this amazing kind of like wet, oily look on your legs. I feel like JLo when I wear this stuff. <laughs> and I think it's just incredible. So yeah, I'll leave that linked up as well, but it smells so good. It's got kind of like a, a gardenia kind of tuberose smell to it. And it's incredible. So yeah. And then of course, don't forget to drink your water. <laughs> All right, so now you guys can see where I've been playing around with a new configuration on the shoes and bags. So I've gotten out the spring summer bags already. I could not wait to pull that bag out. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear that again. And I've got kind of these beiges up here still because I've realized that I have a lot of black shoes and especially for spring and summer. I've got a couple that I pulled out to share with you today, but that's where the little gaps are. But otherwise I really do have a lot of black shoes for spring, summer, and I do wear, I love wearing black shoes, but I've got the sandals and everything out. And like these were one of my favorites, the little Bottega ones. Uh, let me know if you want like a full tour, we could go through things more, but I moved the beiges over here and pulled out all of my sandals. So we're in Georgia. I've still got to figure out where I'm gonna put my bag because I think I'm gonna put it up here on the top. I haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, here in Georgia, I mean, we're wearing open-toed shoes already. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't take long. So um, then I've also got out everything for the beach and we're gonna have a couple beach trips so i've been stocking the beach bag up let me know if you're interested and in knowing what i've got in my beach bags i've got two i've got the the saint laurent and i've got and i've got the anina bing bag so yeah two really fun beach bags i got this as a free gift actually from Saks because i ordered the Augustina, her um, sun sunscreen. And so they gave me this amazing free gift. It's loaded with beauty products. That was fun. And then over here, you can see where I'm working through a few piles. So these little fleece kind of flannel boxes are actually, I think Jack got that from Ikea, but maybe he got them off of Amazon. But it's really nice when we have to do like the dry cleaning or you can see here where I've got a pile of pants and different things that I need to take in to have altered and I need to have them all hemmed. So yeah, that's the life of a petite girl, but that's okay. <laughs> and I've got some stuff that needs to go to the dry cleaner as well in there. And then I've been putting the boots away in these bins that sit up at the top. And when I did that, I realized that I had missed one of my bins from winter. So I wasn't sure if I even really you're keeping us company are you could you be any cuter look at his little paws he's so cute <laughs> he's so cute you're just so cute yes you are i could just squeeze you and love you just so cute just so cute i love you i love you oh oh 
Oh, there we go. There we go. We get some belly rubs in. Belly, belly, belly. Belly, belly, belly. <laughs> well, anyways, I realized I had this gorgeous sweater dress that I didn't wear because I missed a box up there and I'm so upset. And I had a pair of shoes that I didn't wear at all. So I'm gonna maybe either put some of this down. Look at these, I, I didn't even wear them. That would have been so cute with all black, but yeah. And I didn't end up wearing this little gold bag. I think that the gold bag maybe doesn't feel like, I don't know, you guys let me know. I think it just feels a bit kind of festive. Maybe not something I would carry during the summer. Let me know if you guys think that would go with the gold shoes or if I should just go ahead and pack some of these away for now and put them back in the box and this time actually open all of the boxes. But generally, you know, having these at the top does actually work and I just put the little shoes in there and stuff. So, so there you go. Those are, I, I still haven't put my picture up either. I'm telling you, this is how life is for all of us. I think sometimes we just have projects that we're working on and it just takes time to get them done. And we're working on a hundred things and that's okay. As long as they get done, right? <laughs> Eventually it all gets done. And it's a uh, little rascals like this. that keep us distracted and we do not mind, do we? We do not mind. We do not mind, do we? When they're just so cute and they distract us, huh? And they distract us just being so cute. Should we go make dessert? Should we go get something to eat? Hmm? He doesn't know that word, apparently. <laughs> I say C-H-E-E-S-E, -E -E, you'll go nuts. But uh, yeah, let's go into the kitchen because I'm getting a little bit hungry and I wanna be able to make a really fun little snack. It's not only it is healthy, but it's just delicious. But you know, that's what I'm looking for. So let's go, let's go to the kitchen. I'm trying to refrain from singing fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. But this fruit salsa is so good. I'm waving this spoon around. I'm gonna set that down. <laughs> this fruit salsa is so good and it's so simple and it's so refreshing, it's so light and you can make this with any fruit that you have on hand. It's so simple and it's delicious. And what I love about it is that you can eat it all by itself. We also love to bake some cinnamon sugar tortilla crisps to go with them. This is also really great if you wanna serve it over ice cream or yogurt we might just try both of those today and see what we end up with. But I do apologize. It is actually storming outside, so it's a little bit dark in here. I apologize, but we don't care about that stuff around here, right? <laughs> We're gonna have fun. So I've just got a nice big bowl. And for today, I've got about a cup of blueberries that I'm gonna add in here, about a cup of blackberries that we're adding. And you can see I've kind of rinsed them all and added them in. That actually would be really beautiful served just like that. But today we'll also add in about a cup of diced kiwi. Got a couple left in there. They don't wanna get in. Get in guys, it's nice and fine. Then we've also got a little bit of some green apple, all nice and chopped. It is nice if you do chop it because then you've got smaller pieces. So it does make it easier to eat. And then literally all you do is just stir that up. I mean, I'm telling you, it's ridiculous how simple this is. I like to add a little bit of zest of orange in here because it gives it a nice little, just a nice little zesty taste to it. And it really just, uh, just it all comes together so nicely and it just makes it feel all tangy and yummy. So yeah, just give that a quick little tap. You can add as much of this as you like or as little, add that in. Let me wash my hands again. Then I'm just going to slice our orange and pour the juice right over this. So when you have this fruit sitting in fruit juice like that, oh man, oh man, is it so good. And it gets all like sugary and kind of like syrupy. Now you can add sugar to this but we never add sugar to it. It's so sweet by itself that I, I've just been one of those people that I felt like fruit was sweet enough 
but if you want to add the sugar of choice just sprinkle a little bit of sugar over top it'll just release the juices even faster let me wash my hands one more time right then all i do is add a little sprinkle of cinnamon over the top of this it gives it such a nice little flavor and about a pinch of nutmeg and nutmeg is a little bit stronger so you don't need as much but a little bit of nutmeg just gives it like this unique flavor. I can barely talk. I'm like, my mouth is watery thinking about all those juices. <laughs> so it, all you have to do is just give that a stir. And that is it, guys. It is delicious and it's ready to eat. So fruit salsa, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Sorry, I could refuse. It feels like it's special, but it's still just fruit with a few little seasonings on it and it's wonderful. So let me set that aside. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna make some tortilla chips because they're sweet chips and they're delicious, hang on. Okay, so some tortillas, a little bowl with some water, a little pastry brush to go with that, baking sheet pop in here, and the trick is the kitchen shears. So I really like the kitchen shears because they make all of this so easy. So when I'm gonna serve this at a big party and I'm gonna be serving a whole bunch of people because this is the kind of thing I definitely make when we're entertaining. Um, look how cute these are in the little size. So all I do is just simply cut them. <laughs> right with the scissors and it saves you so much time i'm going to cut them half and then i'm going to cut them in half again okay so just like that and you've got perfect little triangles now we've got plenty of these now if you want to make the fancy ones okay you can take these and you can make them to where they're more like a topping okay so they're going to be really yummy and you're going to want to eat them just like this but there's something about them being in strips that makes them really, really extra. I don't know, you just wanna like bite them. <laughs> but when you make them into little twists like this, oh my goodness. So I know this is a little bit extra and there's nothing wrong with just knocking out some great little crisps, but if you wanna take it to the next level, all you're going to do is just cut these really, really thin, literally just boop, little thin little pieces like that. You can just simply lay these out flat on the baking sheet. And if you want the curly ones, you literally just kind of curl them a little bit around your finger. And weirdly enough, they do actually stay. It's kind of crazy, but you just kind of like mold them. If they're really fresh, they should do this pretty easily. These are actually those Hawaiian roll tortillas. I didn't even know those existed, but they are like a little extra soft and a little fluffier and they're really good. So that's just a little added bonus. But yeah, all we have to do is just kind of twist them and they look, they look so pretty, don't they? And it's just, this is really just taking it over the top, but sometimes it's fun to do that and just do the little extra things, don't you think? Okay, so the really simple part is just taking your pastry brush and a little bit of water in here and I just tap that water down onto these. All right, so you don't want to get them too wet, but just a nice little damp water on them is all you really need because we're going to put some cinnamon on them and this will help the cinnamon to stick. Today, we're gonna to be a little extra healthy and we're just gonna sprinkle this over the top of these. And yeah, it just takes a second to give them a little coating and a li it's just gonna add a little bit of flavor to them and then we're just gonna pop them in the oven. So it's really simple. And these little curly ones are so cute. They're so, so cute. Yeah, I mean, that is it. How great is that? Into the oven we go. We're gonna give those little crisps just a minute to crisp up in the oven. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna get everything else ready here. So for me, I have a dairy, dairy allergy. So I've actually got Craig's. This is based out of Los Angeles. This is their classic vanilla infused with Madagascar vanilla bean. It's vegan and it's cashew based. And it is so creamy that even if you take it straight out of the, like straight out of the freezer, it's like really, really soft and creamy. And you can just kind of make a really nice little scoop with that and then pop that down into the bowl. I'm gonna make another one and show you two different ways to serve this up. You can also take yogurt of any kind, Greek yogurt, or we really like the skewer 
Um, this one is a regular, this is dairy based. And this is what I buy for Jack and the kids. And it's Icelandic. They call, I think in English, people would probably call it Skyr. But in Danish, they actually call it Skur. And yeah, I mean, it's just, there's no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives. Um, what else? How would you describe this, Jack? It's like, it's really thick. It's really thick. Super, super rich and creamy. So when you put this down into the bowl, it's going to give you like a really rich kind of look. And so you can kind of stick that down. Do I want to do it this way? Or do I want to do a bowl that's open? Hang on. Hang on. Let's serve it up pretty. <laughs> Let's serve it on black instead so that you really see it. Okay. So I'm just going to put a dollop of this in here. And then if you really want to get fancy, you take your spoon and you drag it and then you just lift. Okay. I know that's really pretty and fancy looking, but you saw it. It was super simple. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to take just a little bit of our fruit kind of across the top here on each of these. And of course, if you're just making this for breakfast, you don't have to do all the fancy schmancy stuff, but it is kind of fun if you're going to be serving it to somebody to kind of make it pretty. I think, but you guys let me know if you appreciate the extra, the extra details. <laughs> Should we go a little extra on this one and kind of fill it in? It's fun because it feels like I can't change the entire room every single day, but as a designer, like a little outlet for making something really pretty just makes, it just makes it extra fun. So while I wait for the other ones, I do have a few of these made so we can actually just pop that down over the top like this. Um, let's see, should we make this one little sticks? We can make this one little sticks that kind of stand upright. What do we think? I don't know if that'll work, but we're gonna try. Yeah. And then one across. Like that. I mean, you saw, it takes a few seconds. And I know it is extra, but how beautiful are those? I love this Isn't stuff. Isn't it so it's, pretty? It's gorgeous. I mean, that does not look homemade. <laughs> <laughs> not like, like Jack would make. No, well, it, you could totally make this. This took a few seconds. Yeah. Well, yours I made with the Icelandic oh, skewer. It's so beautiful and yes. I love Icelandic skewer. Yes, and then I have the cashew Ooh. ice cream here that looks delicious. Yeah, it does. I have to admit, I've been snacking on the fruit while you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for Jack to come try. <laughs> you ready to try some? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, the creaminess of the yogurt with the crunchiness of the apples and the yeah. tart. Oh, for the, um, it's got orange juice. Yeah, yeah, it's Oh, I love yeah. that. And um, yeah, did you see your little crisps? I do did. You remember these? They're so yummy. I'm gonna dip mine in the ice cream. I love my little crisps. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. Get in my mouth, little crisp. <laughs> It's so good. Oh my gosh. When you pair that with the ice cream, it's almost like an ice cream cone. Oh. All right, well, I like eating it like this, but I have also put some in a bowl here for the kids and I've added in the little chips, okay? My kids so cute. are going to freak when they get home because this is one of their favorite things that I used to always make. Oh, and yeah. I have no idea why I haven't been making this all the time. It took the us like, 15 minutes. 15 totally. minutes yeah, and they are beautiful and they, it smells so good. It does. It smells so good. So we're going to enjoy our little snack and um, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I will leave all the rest. I will leave the recipe link down below and of course the links from earlier for all the outfits. I'll leave all that link down below. But I hope you're enjoying our videos. We're having fun getting to hang out with you and just having a blast. I know it was fun. It's so much fun. So thank you again for coming to hang out with us and we will see you guys in the next one. Until then. Bye. bye. I don't know which one to eat. Oh my gosh. This was really good ice cream. Is it really good? It, it looks is del del so you good. You just tried it. Didn't you taste how Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't remember, you think it's delicious? It is really good. I remember we used to eat this in Morocco all the time. Mm. When it was so hot. And you would make this and it would be in the fridge. Yeah. And then come out and it's like refreshing and cold and it's sad and all those juices. These are so good. Try that too. Mm.